All right, here's a quick little video of a weekend project that my boys and I were working on. Uh, this is a tent stove. Um, while on YouTube, I, uh, I just kind of stumbled on to uh, what they're calling an ammo can stove, and I just happened to have a 50 caliber uh, ammo can sitting out in my garage uh, collecting dust. So I converted it into an ammo can tent stove. So this is what we're looking at here. You can see the hinge on the top of the ammo can. Uh, and this is the back side. And uh, this right here, the uh, it's just airflow control on the front, just like you'd find on like a, uh, oh, you know, like a barbecuer or something like that. And I just put some screen on the inside to kind of keep it, uh, keep the sparks arrested from flying out in the tent. Uh, just some cheap little hinges from Walmart. I think they were a few bucks. I can't remember exactly. Uh, this is some one inch by three quarter inch uh, rectangle box tube. Uh, the handle here is made out of uh, just a little thin piece of eighth inch aluminum. A couple of holes drilled in it. And the you can see the latch assembly. That was just a chunk of little steel I had laying around. I just cut a slot in it. And uh, we'll go ahead and open up the door here. And uh, this seal right here is flat fiberglass fireplace seal. Uh, you just cut it to length and it has a, a peel off back with some, it's basically like a, a piece of tape, a little sticky on the uh, back side. And you just cut it to length, peel off the back and stick it on to insulate the door. You can see that screen that I put on there. Um, basically I just, I just cut out the back side of this uh, ammo can and uh, I'm really not going to do a, a tutorial on this thing because there's so many of them on YouTube but just kind of showing you what I did on mine. Uh, I have yet to build, I'm going to use some expanded uh, steel and build a little grate in here probably an inch tall that will span the entire bottom to keep the, the heat off of the bottom of the uh, ammo can. So. Uh, there's the door and uh, as far as measurements I want to say this door is five and a half inches by five and a half inches there it's latched the legs are five inches tall standard uh, 50 caliber ammo can and uh, you know I, I knew I wanted to put a damper in this thing I just happened to be at my local hardware store and they had three inch dampers uh, this particular damper was, uh, I want to say it was like five bucks and change, and I just thought, you know, for that kind of money, I couldn't build one <laughs> that would be cost effective in, in my time and, and parts. Uh, so, you know, I couldn't build one for that. So I just went ahead and bought this neat little damper. And uh, standard three inch stovepipe. This is just one section. I actually have three sections for it. Um, I want to say it's three foot. I believe it's three foot. Anyhow, I have three sections and then a little uh, rain cap for the top of it, but we'll go ahead and, sorry, I'll try to pull this thing off here with one hand. Okay, so set that down, and then you can see the little damper in there. Not very good, sorry. You can see on there it's, it says iron. The whole thing is actually, it says uh, cast iron damper, three inch. It's hard to see, but you get the point. Anyhow, yeah, a little three-inch damper there. Uh, awfully cheap for five bucks and change. I just couldn't build one that nice. So, anyhow, I put that in. Now this pipe is three-inch automotive exhaust pipe, and it just so happened that it slipped nice and tight uh, inside of this three-inch stovepipe and my damper fit was just a perfect fit for the inside diameter so I couldn't ask for better um, and, and as far as you know this piece of pipe I want to say it's like four inches tall I just ran down to my local automotive exhaust shop and a uh, guy happened to have this chunk sitting in a scrap bin he just gave to me um, so uh, anyhow three inch automotive exhaust pipe uh, it's the perfect diameter to slip inside 3 inch stovepipe and it's also the perfect diameter if you're going to use a, uh, a 3 inch cast damper. Uh, 
So that's it. That's my little weekend project. Um, I've got some Doug fur here. We'll give you a size comparison in my hand. That's it's a tiny little guy. So anyhow, um, I brought this wood in just to kind of give you a, a reference. I fired this thing up to burn off, uh, burn off and set the paint, burn off oil and impurities today. I ran it for about three hours wide open on the amount of wood that you see right here. Uh, I, I didn't exactly weigh this out, so I couldn't give you an exact weight, but <laughs> three hours for a wide open burn, not too bad for the small amount of wood. Um, I did break out my laser thermometer and, and took some heat readings and uh, you know it, it varied from place to place on this thing. The top averaged about 600 degrees down here on the sides where the actual fire was or the coals averaged around 7, 750. So I mean this thing cranks out the heat. Um, but uh, I, I don't know what else to say about it other than that's my weekend project. Please rate and comment.